Here is the dashboard where you have an overview of all your backups. In the top section, you have your protection status, which tells you how many users and shared drives are backed up. It also has a Backup All Now button to run all the backups manually. The backup status lets you know how many backups succeeded, had warnings, or failed. Data Dynamics lets you know how many emails, files, contacts, and calendars have been backed up. You can also see the total size of everything backed up. In the bottom section, it lets you know the most recent activity of Loop Backup. Here is the protection page. From here you can select which users you want backed up. You can select all users by ticking the box next to resources, or just some users by ticking the box beside the user's name. Shared drives are listed below the users. Once the users are ticked, you assign them an SLA. You can choose bronze, silver, or gold. The bronze only backs up once a day, the silver is twice and the gold is a minimum of three. Once you have selected the SLA, you can backup each user manually by clicking the Backup Now button in the column next to the user's name. It also has the Recover button, which you would click to restore any needed data. The SLA column lets you know which tier the user is under. We'd suggest having all users under gold. It then has the status column notifying you if the backup succeeded. You then have the schedule column which tells you when the last backups ran and when the next backup is to run. Lastly is the details column. This has how many emails, files and data each single user has backed up. If you select recovery, it will take you to this page. This is where you can download or recover emails, Google Drive OneDrive files, contacts or calendar items. You just tick the boxes next to the items you want to recover and click the Download or Recover button. You can recover to a separate folder, overriding existing content, or to another user. Above the Download and Recover buttons is a drop-down which allows you to choose the backup version if needed. On Drive, you can recover the backup of Microsoft OneDrive, Google Drive. If you click Computer slash Other, you can recover the data you have stored locally on your hard drive. You just tick the boxes next to the items you want to recover and click the Download or Recover button. You can recover to a separate folder, overriding existing content, or to another user. Above the Download and Recover buttons is a drop-down which allows you to choose the backup version if needed.